Now that the witch has successfully conjured a dragon, she should celebrate. We're going to write her celebration in a new procedure. Functions are methods that calculate stuff, and procedures are methods that don't. Writing our own methods can save huge amounts of time, and will make our code much more organized and clear. To create a new method, click the button at the top left of the code editor panel. Go under which, and then click add which procedure. Call it celebrate in the menu that comes up, and then click OK. You'll see that a new tab opens, and that in your scene view, only the witch is showing. The witch is now called this, which is Alice's word for the current object. We're going to have the witch scream, I am invincible, and then do a back. So first, drag in her say procedure. This say. Select custom text string and type, yes, I am invincible, or something similar. Now we'll write the backflip. As you know, there are three parts to a backflip, essentially. The jump up, the flip, and the landing. To jump up, drag in the witch's move procedure. It's in the second group under position. When you drag it in, Alice will ask us for information. We're going to select up and then 1.0 to tell Alice that we want her to jump up one meter. For the flip, we're going to drag in the witch's turn procedure, which is in the third group under orientation. When you drag it in, select backward for a backflip and then 1.0 for a full flip. If we did, say, 0.25, she would only flip around a quarter of the way. Finally, for the landing, we just need to move her down the same distance that she moved up. So once again, drag in this move, and this time select down one meter. To make this actually execute, we need to put it somewhere where Alice knows to run code. Reselect the My First Method tab from the top of the code editor panel. Click on the witch in the scene view, or select her from the object dropdown, and note that she now has a celebrate procedure towards the top of her list. Drag that into the very bottom of My First Method. Now when you press run, everything else will happen as usual, but the witch will do a backflip at the end. We mostly write methods when we want to execute code more than once without rewriting all of, you know, those several lines. To understand what I mean, try dragging in a couple more calls to celebrate to the bottom of my first method. When we press run, once you have three calls to celebrate, then we might fast forward a little bit using the speed bar at the top, the witch will flip one, two, three times. If we now close our scene view, we can do the same thing in an even easier way using what we call a loop. Delete the last two calls to celebrate by right-clicking on them and selecting delete. Right-click, delete. Now, we'll find where it says count in the control tiles at the very bottom of the screen. Count is an example of a loop, which lets us repeat a block of code as many times as we want. Drag count into the code editor, and Alice will ask us how many times we want to repeat code. We'll choose three to start, and then we're going to drag in this dot which celebrate to where it conveniently says drop statement here. So now, this dot which celebrate will happen three times in a row. When we hit run and speed it up by dragging over the speed thing, so will flip one, two, three times. The nice thing about loops is that we can make them repeat as many times as we want just by changing the number to count to. It would still work if I say 
change this number to custom decimal 10,000. But when I click run, my witch is going to be flipping for quite some time. In the next video, we'll have the witch fly away on the dragon when we press a button. For now, just close your window, change count back to 3 if you changed it, and then choose File, Save.